Hi guys, today we're going to look at all of the specific details of the radius. So this is the radius. Um, it is one of two bones um, that sits in your forearm. Um, so you can see size-wise um, approximate for the forearm. It is on the thumb side of the forearm. Um, it articulates with the humerus proximally. So here, this is the portion that articulates with the humerus at the elbow. And then the distal portion of the radius articulates with the scaphoid bone, um, which is one of your carpal bones. When we look at the humerus, um, first we'll look at the head, neck, and shaft. The head is the proximal part of the humerus, um, the top, or sorry, the proximal part of the radius that looks like this. It has a perfect circle on the top of it. Um, this is the head. This is the part that articulates with the capitulum of the humerus. The neck is then the thin area just below that, just like on us, the head is the round part and then the neck is where it's thin and connects. So the head is the round part, the neck is where it gets thin and connects to the rest. And then the shaft is the remainder of the radius. Head, neck, shaft. The radial tuberosity um, is this part of the radius that sticks out right here. So it's a just distal or just past the, the neck. See how it sticks out right at this portion right here? Um, that is the uh, radial tuberosity. Um, <clears throat> the other uh, structures are all down at the distal end. They're all down at the bottom of the radius. So first we'll look at the ulnar notch. The ulnar notch is on the medial side. It's this little notch that sits right here. So um, if you look at it, you'll see one side sticks down further. That's gonna be the styloid process. So the little point down here, that's on the lateral aspect of the radius. It's gonna be on the, um, the lateral, like thumb side aspect of the wrist here. Um, that is the styloid process, like a stylus a stylus is like the pointy thing you use on your electronics. So styloid process, they're always like pointy processes. So this is the styloid process of the radius. On the opposite side is the ulnar notch. So it's going to be right here on this side. I have to kind of twist it a little bit. And then you can see this little depression or little notch right here. It's called the ulnar notch because that's where the ulna sits. Uh, the ulna sits with the radius just like this. Right, they sit together. And you can see here, right at the distal end of the radius is where the head of the ulna sits. Right, so the ulnar notch. Uh, again, the pointy part is the styloid process. The dorsal tubercle is actually on the posterior side or on like the back of the radius. So if I turn this around, you'll see right here, Right, this little protrusion, that little part that's sticking out right in the middle, that's the dorsal tubercle. So when you look at the front, it's more smooth, right? But the back has this little bump in the middle, which is the dorsal tubercle. So head, neck, shaft, radial tuberosity, it's sticking off, down at the bottom, ulnar notch, and styloid process. In the back, the dorsal tubercle. That's it.